Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. So today I'm super excited because it's Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers 3. So for today's event, I'll be representing Australia, but I'll also be competing against some other very cool puzzlers. And they are Donna Louise from For the Love of Puzzles representing New Zealand. We've got Vicky from Vicky Makes and Builds representing the UK. Jeanette from Jeanette and her puzzles representing Slovenia and Judy from Addicted to Puzzles representing the US. But we also have a very special guest puzzler joining us today. We have Dan from Puzzle File, who is also representing the US. So please give them all a warm welcome. And if you don't already know them, definitely go check out their channels and please consider subscribing if you haven't already. So something important that I quickly want to mention, please don't put any spoilers in the comments. We want to keep this fun and a surprise for everyone. So the puzzle for today's event is The Blue Car by Clementoni. And I just think this is super fun looking. It's very bold, bright and colorful, just like me. And yeah, I'm definitely uh, looking forward to it. It's definitely my kind of puzzle. And if you want to grab yourself a copy of this puzzle, then I have a link to my Amazon storefront in the description box below where you'll be able to purchase this puzzle for yourself. I do make a small commission from sales made through my Amazon storefront, which I use to support and further grow this channel. And if you'd like to join in on the fun and have a go at speed puzzling this puzzle yourself, then there is a Google form which is linked in the description box below and you have until the 29th of February to complete the puzzle and fill in your results in the form. Also, if you'd love to do this puzzle but you don't want to be competitive or you don't want to speed run it, that's totally fine. You can still fill out the form and just pop in four zeros for the section with the time. So I'm pretty excited to get stuck into this puzzle. It looks like a lot of fun. And I think my main plan going into it or strategy is just to sort of sort by color and maybe sort by a few other details. So I'll probably pull out the blue car and put that in a pile, the road, the pavement, the green, the pink, pull out these windows and like stairs and railings, probably the plants, and maybe even pull out the border separately as well. So yeah, pretty straightforward. I guess we'll see if I stick to it and I'll probably talk about it as well after I've done the puzzle. Um, so I think that's everything. So without further ado, let's get into some speed puzzling. I'm back and I've finished the puzzle and that was actually quite a fun challenge. Like I said earlier, this is definitely more my kind of puzzle with the bright colors. So yeah, it was just a lot of fun piecing this one together. So my final time ended up being one hour, 15 minutes and 13 seconds. And overall, I'm pretty happy with that. Although I guess I was secretly hoping that I might be a bit quicker and who knows, maybe even crack that one hour mark. Um, it wasn't to be, but that's okay. I'm still quite happy with how I went and uh, I really enjoyed doing this puzzle as well. Although I do have to say I have a bit of a bad habit in thinking that the more fun a puzzle looks, uh, the easier and quicker it's going to be to put together. And that is definitely not the case all the time. 
And I kind of had that mindset with this puzzle initially, but that was soon uh, wiped out when I started sorting the pieces and realized, oh, that's quite a lot of pink pieces and there's actually quite a few tricky bits in this puzzle. So yeah, I soon realized it wasn't gonna be as simple and easy and quick as I initially thought. So when it comes to strategy and putting this puzzle together, I think I mostly stuck to my initial plan. I end up putting the car aside, um, the road and the pavement. I end up pulling out the like doors and windows, pulled out green, also pulled out these stairs and like railings. Um, I sort of could have done better with the plants. I sort of started pulling those out, but I end up with just this big giant pile of pink. So I kind of wish I had sorted that a bit better. Like I could have taken this, these dark pieces here out and even like sorted these brighter pinks up here from these more cooler pinks. But I think at the time I was feeling a little bit rushed and frantic and kind of just was like, oh, it'll do, just get it done, get it done quickly. And I did sort of change my mind as well about the border. Originally I was gonna put the border separately, but I sort of decided I'd just treat them like other pieces and we'll figure that out later. Um, I think, yeah, so maybe I could have sorted things in a bit of a more detailed or thorough way that might've helped overall. But I think at the end, I, in the end, I still got things done and it still worked out okay for me. So there were a couple of other issues uh, with this puzzle, which I feel like probably slowed me down a little bit. So one was the pieces themselves. They do tend to be a little bit kind of glossy or a bit shiny. And with my lighting, I definitely experienced a bit of glare and sheen. So I did have to sort of move around a bit to see the pieces properly. And that was a bit problematic, especially with like trying to see the different shades of pink or just details in general. So yeah, that was a bit of a bummer and a little bit frustrating, but hey, it is what it is. And so the other issue I had was definitely a me thing. So uh, I have a bit of a problem with my hands and feet and joints, that sort of thing. So first thing in the morning when I wake up, I tend to have quite sort of sore and stiff and kind of slow moving hands and feet. Um, and I kind of forgot that in relation to doing this puzzle. And I, for some reason, decided that oh, I'll do this puzzle first thing in the morning so I can get it over and done with. Um, but unfortunately, there was a bit of a problem because for the first 10 or 15 minutes, my hands were so slow and I felt like I didn't really have much control over them. And I felt like I was running my hands through wet cement. It was just, they felt very sluggish and yeah, not a lot of control. So I feel like that slowed me down quite a bit, especially with sorting. I just wanted to get the sorting over and done with, but I just couldn't get there fast enough. But hey, I got there in the end, so that's fine. But yeah, I think in hindsight, uh, when doing like puzzle competitions, that sort of thing, I really need to try and, if I can, do the puzzle later in the day when my hands have had a chance to warm up and I'm a bit more my normal self. So yeah, just something for myself to be aware of. And don't forget to check out everyone else's videos and see how they all went. You can find a link to each video in the description box below. And I wanna give a big thank you to Dan from Puzzle File for being our very special guest for this event. And a big thank you to everyone else for joining in and making this event so fun. I hope you all enjoyed speed puzzling this awesome puzzle. Also, I really hope you decide to join in on the fun and have a go at doing this puzzle yourself. Don't forget, there's a link to the Google form in the description box below, and you have until the 29th of February to do the puzzle and enter your result in the form. And the results will be revealed in the first week of March. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much, and see you next time. Bye.